Well, the police still haven't been to take any forensics whatsoever. The fireworks and that were put in with the explosive um, device, whatever it was put in. So my brother's going to go in now. Emma, mean, can you just take a video of that in there? That's what they've got in my car. You know, just disgusting animals. Animals, they are vile animals. So they throw an accelerator in, and there, there's the thing there. A rag with a petrol or something. The Bible's in the back, which is Emma's Bible. And the, the headrest there, but um, there's the fireworks there. So probably you can go in there and take the fireworks out. Yeah, I'll put them in a the bag. Put them in the bag. Just put them in slowly and let people see. And take the fireworks out, which one? Just take plugs up just one at a time. Not, just don't get the ball one go. Just put one at a time. Let's show the camera. So there's that, which is gas. Show them, you know, show them, show them that other one. Show, put that one in. Turn that one around. Show that one around. There's a the firework there, big massive, full of gunpowder. Drop that one in. Go back in. Should take that plastic bag out your hand? No, you just want you want to just get the fireworks, the fireworks out separate, separate not the bags, Bobby. Not the bags, Bobby, the fireworks. And the and the paintbrushes. Yeah, there's another firework there, that's blow up block. Yeah. Just uh, one at a time and no bags, stick them up. There's another one there, there's loads in there. In the corner, look, you can see them all. Lift it out of the way and I'll blow up underneath. There's another firework there, look, there's another one, put it to the camera. No, there's the other one, it's a rocket, it's a rocket. The other way around, Bobby. It's the other way, it's up in the air like that. It's a rocket, yeah. rocket, put it up in the air. There's a rocket, mm. you can see. Right, go on, get the rest. There's some more over there, isn't there? Yeah, and on the floor. And there's some more on the floor. What's that one? That's another, another banger. That's a bang, something like that. Smoke bomb, that it looks like. No matter what, your hands are getting dirty, Bobby. Got everything that's in there. More paper. That was a light look, as you can see there. It's been incinerated and it was setting the light in the car, and I had to go into it. The so-called ones, all oh, they never come out, but come straight out. There's the thing, it was a light, I put it out. I tap it with a hand in the window when I come out, and they ran off, jumped in the Jeep, shouting each other's names. There's the paint, there's the thing, that, that was full of uh, petrol, to set it alight. Drop that in now, that was what like, so. Accelerator. Was there any more plastic bags over there? They've shot bags in them to make it. Oh, so see that bag in the corner. Have a look at that, to see. Sorry, if you get that bag, Bob. There you go. Yeah, the towel looks full of air. Uh, it's, it? yeah, it's been full of air uh, petal, but we're lucky because we've got, I've got it out, isn't it? Right, there's one down right. here. Oh, then there's, there's, there's another one down there, can you see? And no. then, right, down there. Oh, there's another one there. There's another one down there. I'll just leave it and that'll go. So there's some, there's some more still in there, I'll have to get myself these blinds are back. Um, so that's what they've done, they've, they've set that, they threw the, the, the grenade into there. They've got all the back of my seats. There's, a, there's another stick up on them. There's another stick up on them, sort of like a rocket. So what they've done, they've put them together as one as close as device. Try them together and just a fuse and glue. All the bottom at the bottom, just put towels in and plastic bags to try and set the car light. They've obviously damaged the, uh, obviously the seats and everything and set, set a light to the headrest. Yeah, they are. Ah, there's the important thing. I don't know what this was. This is really weird. Right, so that. That's a rocket. That, that's oh, no, that's, no, that's uh, been an accelerator which we add something on it. You can see it's uh, not, it's not paint, it's like a. Plastic. They must have had something like that on the rocket. <laughs> all them fireworks, so that all went off and the big blew up. There's some of a can. Yeah, there's a little can. Yeah, there's a lid. <laughs> the accelerator. We were very lucky we were in because we went in and they were trying to put they tried to put one in the door. It was a firework because our friend who was there, XSCS said that wasn't a, a firebomb he's putting through your door, but that was a I just I'll come to you. So yeah. what happened is on the Friday night, I was in there doing the doing the podcast here, you can see the windows. Put the windows upstairs and the best. So me and then we were in there, we just been to the town for Bobby. That front window 
Emma was just bent down. She'd been hoovered up, cleaned up, dusted, just fed Eli. She bent down to pick the hoover up and a building brick come through. You've seen the brick, half a paving stone. It missed the head by about that much. If it hit her on the head, I swear to God, it would have seriously killed or broke her neck or did serious damage. The scumbags text, ha ha, I better give Jamie the money back for him better than that because it never, never, it never hit her. And then he put on, at least your windows will only be half price because they're all smashed. They'll just take the piss out of us. And now they're putting on reports from, can I tell them about the thing? About, yeah. Yes. yeah. There's uh, reports now from uh, London, I believe, where they're in a chat room and saying there, uh, Emma's going to get the same thing done what Lee King got done with by um, Keith McQuaid. Well, Keith McQuaid was supposed to have killed Lee King, but that, he, he got offered it, he got not guilty. But now they're saying that. So we know only that rat, the silver surfer, knows them. Where I told him the story, you see what really happened in the day. So now he's putting the stories where I told him in the book, in there, things where I told him not to write. So he's doing that. So anyway, we're in that room there. And this window came flying, Flynn France, know that one. And then that was it. So we thought it was okay. So I thought it was an ornament. Eli's always messed about with things. We've got some big heavy head, like busts are called. I thought it just fell off because I've got, got a heavy one, about 10 pounds in weight. I've got another one. I thought Eli it must have nudged it and it, it just fell. I thought, oh, Eli, what have you done? Oh, Eli got the blame. So next minute, we finished the live and we went upstairs because I carried on to try to stop that. He said, don't, if you don't stop your live, we're going we're to smash your windows. We're going to burn your house down and we're going to set your house alight. So I wouldn't stop. So they've done that. The first window, the bottom one. The, the middle, middle one. And then when I got upstairs, I said, ever come up here, love? I think they've done the top window. When I looked, you couldn't see it because the curtains were closed, but the window was the wind was blown and it was broke. So we all, Key Commander caught the next day and some lovely lads from Hemlington come out and put the windows in. Key Commander to come out and put the windows in properly. Now the windows have been... So we did another live three days later. We got that window put in and that one got two of them put in. Um, both of them, rat, little rats again, 15 year old kids been told because the certain person who paid them has been telling people who it is he's been giving the names out for the drinking for it for all of that stuff and talking and you know he tells him and he tells him she tells you it's all come back so we know the names and addresses so we've told them now for where they live exactly where they live don't we Viv? Mm. Uh, so after that then the uh they came and they run out but they, they ran off but they threw an explosive device in there which you see which is was made with fireworks and if you put gunpowder together into where it's classed as a bomb, a home, homemade, homemade bomb. So they've made that and blew the car. You've seen, if you look on the video, you can see the car blown up. So we've been so lucky with all you beautiful people out there, hundreds and hundreds of thousands, millions of people and around the world. If it gone into the letterbox, yeah. it would have killed Eli, wouldn't it? Well, look, what it could have done there, uh, my mate, it was like I say, his ex army, and he came and he came and said, if that went in the letterbox, that, um, it was a fire, uh, what's it called, a fire, no, a smoke bomb. He said, when it, if it blew up, it would have blew his face off. If Emma was trying to put out his face, out his mouth, probably mm -hmm. blinded her. He said, so you're really lucky you, you've been in that situation. So anyway, I've ran out and shouting at them on the front. And the, the woman next door has got two kids and the other the officer prison officer that side, they came out. And if you look here, where they've put it, the fuel tank's at the back here. His car's only 10 feet away and his wife's car. If this blew up and went and hit that one, the whole lot of these cars could have went up. But inside the garages in people's garages that's where the gas tanks are so it could have been an absolute disaster people could have been killed but we phoned the police two weeks ago and in two weeks or the same night in Middlesbrough there was another arson attack in Middlesbrough where the police came out with a full forensic armed response cordoned it off so my friend who's a top barrister 15 years he's been a barrister said how can you walk past Brian Cockle's house smouldering and arrest Brian for saying the word I oh, can't say the words because mm. we get in trouble. So the word, you know, the silver surfer. So I've been arrested for that and arrested for a threatening his wife and him. But what it was, he said he was going to come to my house, come in the house and rape my wife. So I turned around and said, told the police, I said, full of medication, really annoyed, angry, my hand's not working properly, I'm virtually paralysed, I'm down handicapped. Said, anyone comes to my house with violence, I'll meet violence with violence. If anyone goes near my wife, I'll fucking kill her on the doorstep and I would still do it. And any man would do it. But the police officer, when he was interviewing the, the, the detective, said, I'd do the same if it was mine. And then the lady police officer said, I'd do the same if it was my dog as well. Because they poisoned poor little Eli, by the way. And they've admitted it now. They poisoned him uh, about 10 days ago, 12 days ago, the boy, because he was battered three days. 
We thought he just ate something in the garden, like a rat or something he killed. But they've come back and said, oh, did you like the sausages? What did they say about the sausages? Special ingredients. Special ingredients in the sausage, and we're going to be poisoning them again. But now they're saying, they're going to who's going to die first, Eli or Emma? They put a poll up, people are voting. And then the arsehole, Jamie, he's put, he went, put a vote to say Emma, Emma's going to die first. And then they're saying now they're going to, they're going to shotgun her. So this is what we got to put up with. But how long is this going to go on? He's calling me a grass, a grass. I haven't even made a statement. He's the one who's made statements. And Emma's going to put them on. I don't know if she's put them on yet, have you? The mm. bail conditions where it shows you Jamie's made a statement and his wife's made a statement and there's nothing mentioned of the child who are supposed to, uh, to threaten. There's no 15-year-old child threatened whatsoever. The bail conditions are on there and it tells you who's made the statements, not, not the, the kid. Nothing to do with him. So I can't go near him. I can't go to Stokes. I can't go near his wife. So that's my bail conditions for three months. So anyway, thanks for listening to us, guys. Um, and we love you all. So we'll be back on. Uh, still doing our lives. We're not going to pack in. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep fighting. So God bless you all.